What's up guys, welcome back to Cars, Cost and Technology. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking you for a tour of the National Corvette Museum located in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Now, as the title of this video suggests, this is something that I would strongly recommend every single Corvette enthusiast out there make the trip out here to do. This museum is so incredible. Unfortunately, the video is not gonna do it justice. I tried to get as much as I could and the video could have been two to three hours long easily with all the cool information and history in here. Uh, but obviously to keep things condensed, I tried to stick to a few key things that stood out to me. It's still a very long video and I do apologize apologize for that but there's just so much happening here like I said you're definitely going to want to put this on your bucket list to make it out here and check out the museum I actually decided to become a member as well because I really want to support what they're doing here there's also a lot of cool perks and benefits so I'll have a link in the description below if you want to check out their website but I would certainly start planning your trip to come out here I have already decided when the plant tours open again in 2019 that I will personally be coming back out again to the museum as well as checking out the plant tours if any of you guys are interested in maybe getting a group together to come out and check out not only the museum but the plant together I think that would be kind of fun especially some members here in this community or this channel uh, let me know below in the comments if that's something that you're interested in now throughout the video you'll notice that almost every item in the museum has a call out card in front of it containing a description and some interesting facts on it unfortunately for time's sake i couldn't keep the camera on those cards long enough for you to read everything there if you are interested in reading more of the information feel free to pause the video and read any cards that are legible to you but again for time's sake i did have to move on fairly quickly hope that you guys are still able to see some of the interesting facts and information about these exhibits uh, uh, but again, it's all the more reason after this warm up to go ahead and plan your trip to come out here because there's just too much to capture on video and be able to read on a small screen. You guys definitely have to see this in person. But anyway, let's go ahead and dive into the footage. Hope you guys enjoy it.
One of the many interesting things that really stood out to me here in the museum is just how many drawings, models, and prototypes there are of mid-engine Corvettes. You can definitely tell that the design and engineering team for Corvette has wanted to build a mid-engine model for so long, and the museum does a great job of showcasing these. As somebody who's really excited for the C8 mid-engine Corvette, it's awesome to see that this has been something that's actually a part of the Corvette's history. You know, I know there's never been a production model with a mid-engine design, but the fact that it's been something that's been dreamt of for so long by all the people involved with the Corvette as a whole, it's really cool to see and makes me very excited.
Another thing that I found to be really interesting here at the museum is how they're able to creatively turn the catastrophe of the sinkhole into actually a really positive thing for the museum. It was able to bring in a ton of new attention for the museum itself as well as the Corvette brand. And like I said, it's really cool how they've been able to be very creative about it and turn it into a unique exhibit here and really make it a part of the history of the Corvette Museum. You can tell that it's a huge part of the museum and they've got all kinds of information on what happened as well as uh, they've preserved and kept some of the cars that actually fell into the sinkhole. So, like I said, very cool that they were able to put a positive spin on such a bad thing.